It has become a tradition that this performance, students from each choir will be introducing each song and telling you a bit more about it so you can hear about some of the things that we learn in class every day. Also, listed in your programs are some of the musical topics that each choir has studied while rehearsing the songs we are performing tonight. The first piece you heard was entitled Iparadisi, which is a traditional song from South Africa. It is sung in the Zulu language and is one of the many freedom songs from South Africa that has become popular with choirs during the 1980s. We hope you enjoy the concert. The sixth grade choir will begin its portion of the concert with the song Hine Mato, and its lyrics translate to how good it is for us all to dwell in peace. Though the text is in Hebrew, its meaning is universal. The composer, Alan Naplin, wrote this piece in a klezmer style, so you will hear a rhythmic, bouncy feeling throughout the song, as well as changes between the major mode in the verses and the minor mode in the refrains. Enjoy.
second song tonight, Nocturne, is actually the second song from a series of three pieces called From Dust Till Dawn, composed by Rollo Dilworth. From Dust Till Dawn is a journey through time, from sunset through the night and to sunrise. The lyrics of Nocturne tell the, that sometimes the dark can be scary, but the night winds can be comforting, not something to fear. The darkness can represent any challenges we face that we come out stronger on the other side. In this song, the choir worked especially hard on breast support and phrasing. called Sounds of a Better World by composers Jim Papoulias and Francisco Nunes. Sounds of a Better World sees the musicians teaching and composing students from many cultures, age groups, and levels of experience. Of one of the things that they have heard throughout their work is that for children to feel strength and to believe in themselves, it must come from within. So that was their inspiration for this piece. Joining us on cello for this piece will be Natalie Holzberg, a member of the Sycamore Middle School Orchestra. So please welcome her to the stage. Yeah. 
seventh grade choir would like to begin their portion of tonight's concert with Windy Nights, composed by Cynthia Gray. The lyrics for this piece come from the poem Windy Nights, written by Robert Louis Stevenson, who is best known for his novels Treasure Island and the strange cast of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Stevenson wrote this poem to describe his childhood of fear of childhood fear of storms. On windy nights, he imagined that the sounds were those of wild horsemen riding furiously down the street. In this setting, the voices and the accompaniment combined to create sounds of wind and pounding hoofs. In this piece, the choir worked hard on creating dynamic contrast within the song to add with the feeling of coming and going of the wind. have often used nature as an inspiration for writing new music. With Tres Canciones de los Elementos, the seventh grade choir will be performing three short pieces in con contrasting styles about wind, rain, and fire. Victor Johnson, the composer, ensured that each element of nature is reflected in both vocal lines and the piano accompaniment. Listen for the flowing wind, wind in Escuchar al Viento and the wild intense fire in Fuego. You also hear a popular children's song about the rain in La Lluvia, Está Cayendo. Please hold all your applause until the end of the song. Los músicos a menudo han usado la naturaleza como inspiración para escribir nueva música. Con tres canciones de dos elementos, el coro de séptimo grado presentará tres piezas cortas en estilos contrastados sobre el viento, la lluvia y el fuego. Victor Johnson, el compositor, se aseguró de que cada elemento de la naturaleza se reflejara tanto en las líneas vocales como en el acompañamiento del piano. Escucha el viento que fluye en escuchar al viento y el fuego salvaje e intenso en fuego. También escucharán una popular canción infantil sobre la lluvia en la lluvia está cayendo. Por favor, aplaudan después de las tres canciones.
Jabberwocky, our last song this evening, is considered one of the greatest nonsense poems written in English, and many composers have set this text to music. The poem is included in author Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass, the sequel to Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Many of the words in the poem are playful and do not have an exact definition, so the choir members worked on interpreting the language themselves to create a story of their own. In the book, even Alice was confused by the poem, saying, somehow it filled my head with ideas, only I don't exactly know what they are. Please enjoy 7th grade's choir interpretation of Jabberwocky. The eighth grade choir would like to begin their portion of this of the concert this evening with "Closer to the Flame" by David Lance. Susan Borisma's hopeful text, set to buoyant music by the composer, is reminiscent of a traditional American folk song. Written in mixed meter, the choir has worked on maintaining legato vocal line above a very rhythmic piano accompaniment. We learned we began learning this piece after our last concert just three weeks ago. We are proud of how great this sounds in a short amount of time. Here is "Closer to the Flame." Thank you. Thank you. 
by Vicki Tucker Courtney quickly became one of the choir's favorite pieces when we began rehearsing it. The lyrics written by John Parker are very emotional and are echoed in the haunting harmonies in the vocal line. In this piece, the choir worked on creating tension and resolution in their voice line, vocal lines to create anticipation and relaxation, as well as motion in the music. We also discussed and learned about using tempo, rubato, to shape the phrases to make them more expressive. Here is The Lonely Sea. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh. 
Thank you for coming to our choir concert tonight. We have some thank yous to give to people who helped make tonight possible. First, Rob Simmons and the high Sycamore High School tech crew for help with our concert setup and technical needs. The staff and administration at Sycamore Middle School for their support. Natalie Hilseberg and Ms. Tanaki, the Sycamore Music Boosters for all they do to raise funds and advocate for the Sycamore Music Program in the community. And you, our families and friends, for supporting everyone you have seen on stage tonight for encouraging our interest in music. Our last selection this evening is a traditional gospel song entitled, The Storm is Passing Over. The form of this piece is simple, with straightforward musical ideas, but by repeating them, heightening them each time, the choir reaffirms the power of music, which is one of the essential elements of the gospel style. With much syncopation, as well as accented downbeats, the song gave the choir an opportunity to work on different types of articulation to help highlight the style as well. Thank you for coming this evening, and we hope that you enjoy The Storm is Passing Over.
Thanks, everybody, for coming. Have a wonderful evening. Woo!